Hello everyone, and welcome to my new let's play of Detective Hunt. Um, something something Crownstone City PD, made by a developer named Pix Pixabo Pixabop Pixapop Pixapop. You will see it in the description. Um, apparently, this is an um, adventure indie RPG starring a detective, uh, Damien Hunt who works at Crownstone City Police Department and together with my partner I am going to investigate criminal activities around the city. Mm-hmm. You grew up hearing that the city is so safe, so beautiful. But is it? Ooh. Let's start, shall we? Hmm. Okay. Alright. Huh? What the hell was that? That's it. No more horror. Or what? No more horror movies before bedtime, I guess. Is what it said. Why am I at home? Oh crap. I'm going to be late. I need my access pass and my jacket before I head out. Alright. Jacket. Still good for another week. No. Don't do that. I clicked it already, didn't I? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Enough screwing around. Alright, they told me to report in at the first pre precinct before 9. Haven't been there in a while. I think it was located in the middle of the CBD. Alright, so far it's uh, pretty peaceful. Good morning, Crownstone City. My name's Damien Hunt, and well, yeah, I'm a police officer here. I was working with patrol for the past three years and decided to transfer to criminal investigations. Sweet, yeah? Now I can focus on hunting bad guys like a superhero. My late sister always teased me about wanting to be a hero. She said that a hero in Constant City would probably die of boredom. Because everything is so nice here. Children laughing, dogs barking, birds chirping. We are hip happy. We are safe. In fact, we are voted as one of the safest cities in this country. And it's all thanks to the fine officers of Constant City Police Department. I know, I know. You're welcome. People say it's not easy being a cop. But you know, it sure as hell ain't that bad being... Oh, okay, that was too fast for me. Sorry, my fault. I totally didn't see you there. Take it easy, yeah, or hey, watch it. Take it easy. She thinks you're pretty friendly. Alright, that's good. I'm a friendly guy. Let's try to stay friendly, shall we? Take it easy, yeah. Don't want to cause a disturbance in front of the police department. Yeah, don't want to get fired on my first day on the job. Oh. Oh, you guessed it. I'm Detective Alexi Lee. Happy to serve and protect citizens and civilians like yourself. Do you need any assistance? Here to report a crime. Confess to one. Witness a murder. A robbery? Let's uh, say that it's also my first day. It's also my first day. I'm a police officer and just transferred here. I was with Patrol South. Sweet! So you're a patrol officer. I'm just an entry level detective. Third grade they call it. Sounds like an elementary school role, right? But no need to salute me. We are the same rank. Oh wait, I better hurry. You should always be 15 minutes before an appointment, you know? Anyways. Look forward to working with you. 
working. Working? Mm hmm. Somebody is energetic. I guess I shall be too. They fi finally accepted my transfer, so I'll be based here from now on. Crownstone City Police Department's first precinct. Alright, breathe in and out. Keep a calm and assertive face and let's roll. Don't roll in the building though. That's, they will think you are crazy or something. Bushes, nothing here. Oh, okay, so this is just a generic response to just clicking somewhere. Mm hmm. The smell of coffee, the constant chatter, the static radio noise. This is a police department, alright? This is the heart of Crownstone City's finest. Ah, Captain Hawk. Is he a hawk? No, he's not a hawk. That's a disappointment. Hunt. Good morning. Is that day already? I thought it was next week. Well, you sure look excited. Of course. That's the spirit. We need all the en enthusiasm we can get. It gets lonely and boring here sometimes without some fresh meat. Don't call me fresh meat. To be honest, we are lacking sworn officers in all departments. The crime rate in Crownston City is even lower this year. So that's taking a toll on our annual budget again. Hope you are not expecting a raise after transferring here. Wait for now. Great, I'll note it down that you are willing to donate your bonus to our office supplies. Excuse me? Alright, enough joking for now. Some people have a real job to get back to. Alright Cap, can I get my new badge? Of course, of course, eager to boast, to boast it to the ladies. Well, you can't call yourself a detective without one, yeah? Here is it. Here it is. Whoa, it looks so shiny. Wow. Shiny badge. Welcome to the CID, the Criminal Investigations Division, Detective Damien Hunt. Your detective badge holds the Golden Crownstone Medallion. A symbol of the pursuit of truth and justice. At least that's what HR told me. Please uphold the law. And you know, don't do anything stupid. Sir, yes sir. Thank you, Captain. I assume you know your new responsibilities. Do you have any questions? I have a few questions. Yeah, I got a few questions if you don't mind me asking. Well, I don't have all day. What do you want to know? I thought you were not busy here. Ask about CCBD. So how does this department work? I've only been with patrol on the outskirts of town and we kind of spent all day in the car. As you know, we are a small county with relatively low crime. The first precinct acts as our headquarters, so it's pretty much the busiest police department you will find. With the decrease in major crimes, the city council decided to, al to allocate the city's budgets elsewhere. Meaning we don't have a lot of people, so expect to do more than your share of the work. Ironic isn't it? We are suffering from low crime. Frankly, you will see less action in the CID than when you are working in patrol. I mean, there are worse things that can happen to a city. No crime doesn't mean no crime, right? Besides, I think it's a l lot more fun to solve riddles once in a while versus driving aimlessly. Say that to my face again in a couple of months and I will buy you dinner. Well, do you have anything for me to work on? Before that, it's but protocol that all detectives have a partner. Right, can I choose who to be with? No, of course not. Protocol states that you should be paired with a senior detective of first or second grade. John provided the recommendations for my transfer. I do owe him a lot after what happened. I was hoping that I can be of some help to him. That was the plan, but John stuck on a case. Quite a serious one at that. In the meantime, I have to pair you with someone else. Since we are lacking men here, I'm going to pair you up with another rookie. It's against the rules here, but whatever. I'm the boss. <laughs> of course. And I already know who it's going to be. It's only temporary, so take it easy for now. Sure thing boss, who is he? 
she was transferred here like you, but on the chief's recommendation. You mean the police chief? He hardly interacts with us, and now he is recommending someone? Must be a hotshot. Or a hot dog. What's her background? She was from the Counter Intelligence and Surveillance Division, also known as the CIS. Heard of it? We have a division like that? That's because it got disbanded. It was a small division initiated to provide active surveillance, monitor drones, traffic cams, CCTVs, so on. Don't we already do that? What happened? We do surveillance but do not integrate or actively monitor all of the sources. That's what CIS was supposed to do, hence the term active surveillance. There were lots of politics, politics involved. Someone started complaining about privacy intrusion and suddenly the whole thing got shut down. It was big news, you know. Uh, I, I guess um, a lot of countries uh, are facing that problem. Not England though. They still do it. Uh, right. But wait, the CIS guys sound like desk analysts. How will she fare on the field? She aced her exams. But on the field? Well, that's why I'm leaving her in your capable hands. Although both of you are the same rank, you will be taking lead, given your experience. Eh? What? Me? Why? Oh, there she is. Lee! Wait, Cap! Is she... does she... smack me or something? Oh, it's you! You guys met already? Oh, look at that. <laughs> the captain is in my pocket. Well, kinda. We bumped into each other earlier. Sorry about before. I'm Alexis Lee, but you can call me Lexi. Lexi Lee. L Lexi Lee? LL or anything along those lines. You must be Damien Hunt. The captain briefed me the details the other day. Nice to meet you. Lee thinks you are pretty cool. You can call me Hunt. Damien doesn't roll off the tongue as easy. Alrighty, Detective Hunt. Save the chit chat for later. I've got an assignment for you too. Dispatch was called early about a possible homicide near a jewelry store down by Gregory Street, and they just told me that this was a low crime city and that I was going to get bored. Well, look at that. How many homicides need to happen in a town before it's considered a moderate crime rate? That's one of the alleys in Bradleston shopping district. I mean, in my town, it's, it's not that big of a town, I think like, uh, what, a couple hundred thousand people live here? Yeah, probably. And we only get like, um, five, six murders, probably. Well, of course, the police department has to do like um, two provinces at the same time, and that causes more murders, of course. More murders in a year. That's more a, big, a budget thing. Officer on scene is a Luke Harvey. The forensic squad is already examining the scene. I want you two to lend them your assistance. Hope they will have something by the time you arrive. Honestly, it seems like an armed robbery. Shall be an easy case. Hope you two can handle it before the day's over, yeah? Yes, sir. Good. You kids take care of each other. Alright, shall we head out? Mm hmm. Let's do intros. Ask about CIS. Let's ask about CIS. You were with the CIS? Yeah, it was too short while well, it lasted, but honestly, the public outcry was too much. People really just want to complain about anything. Looks like what the CIA will do. We didn't tap into phone lines and such. We monitor CCTV and remote control drone surveillance. I mean, it's not like the cams are hidden or anything. It's, those are just um, street cameras then. Everything we monitored is out open in the public. There was really no invasion of privacy. We gave extra eyes to the police, you see. Well, it's harder to deal drugs if you have cameras all over the place. That can be a problem. 
people began getting paranoid and ultimately it was shut down. Politics is politics, you hear? Boo hoo. Hey, for what it's worth, it sounded pretty cool. Thanks. Here I took liberty of getting our cell phones as equipped with us direct access to some of CCPD's database. That sounds illegal. Well, it's only for those working in a CID, but other officers can access the network from their computer. It's there so that we can log our findings and share it with all personal working on the case. That's pretty neat. Here, you tap on the icon and you will co be connected to CCPD's portal. If you find anything, we shall just log it here. Oh yeah, of course, it's, it's not that we are going to... Um, is different because the CIS constantly monitored and we are only going to monitor CCTVs that we think are um, you know relevant to the case sounds good alright let's head to the crime scene before Captain Hawk penalizes us for slacking okay let's roll Kirk Christie at Brattleton I better check the map Look at that detective vest. This your badge. This your badge. Your medallion. Your symbol. It is proof that you are a detective of the Crownstone City Police Department. They can use some s grammar checks. The key for getting words. Thomas Hawk, Captain Thomas Hawk, was served the police force. Has served the police force for 25 years. And is currently in charge of the Criminal Investigation Division in addition to his duties as police captain. Previous military experience gave him various scars on his face. But despite his stern look, he's a pretty light-hearted guy. And that's why he's called Hawk. Because he has a stern look on his face. Like a hawk. And Lexi Lee. My name's Alexis Lee, but I go by Lexi. Some people call me LL. Some go by L, or even LE. I'll respond as long as it's in the vicinity of that. I'm writing all this in info down for you since you don't look like you are good with computers. If you wanna know, know anything about me, just ask. Mm -hmm. Alright, so apparently there's no flavor text. Apparently. Uh, my guess is here. Gregory Street Alley, crime scene behind Silva and Co's jewelry, located in the alley down Gregory Street. Let's go, yeah. I'm going to talk like the captain now, yeah. Wow. Chapter 1 The Jeweler. My goodness. Whoa, there's a body right there. Scared, it's different than when you're looking at the picture through a camera. Yeah, kind of creepy. You'll get used to it in no time. Hopefully in the next few minutes. Hold it! Stop it right there, no trespassing beyond this point. This place is off limits. Move alone, folks, nothing to see here. You must be Officer Harvey. I'm Detective Lee and this is Detective Hunt. We are here to investigate the crime scene. Do you look like a giraffe with no eyes? Show me proof or I'll arrest you for impersonating an officer of the law. Jeez, here you go. What's wrong? Um, I think I left my bitch in the car. Great. Be right back, I will go get it. Hold it, you think you can run off after impersonating an officer? I told you we are detectives. Come on, Hunt, show him your badge. Yeah, yeah. Let's... There you go. Hmm? Sorry, detectives. Can't be too careful with all these reporters gawking around. It's alright, you are Luke Harvey, I presume. I did. He follows protocols. I'm... He's good in my books. Yup. Officer Luke Harvey first responded to the scene. So what happened here? At around 7 this morning, dispatch received the call of a dead body. The call was Mary Torn. She was out for a morning jog when she spotted the DB. The deceased is Shane De Silva, owner of Silva & Co, the shop in the front alley. 
this alley leads to the back entrance used by employees only. Um, DB is dead body I guess. Well, employee actually, since Silva seems to be the only one running this place. Wonder where the co in Silva and Co is, huh? How did he die? I'm no expert, but I think he got shot. Cause you know there's a big hole in his stomach. The forensic team estimated the time of death to be around 11 to 2 last night. There was a struggle as evident by the shoe prints on the mud and bruises on the back of his head. Both store entrances were locked. Security footage in the shop showed nothing out of the ordinary, so we can guess that the shooter was waiting in the alley. Any suspects? I got it. Um, big hole in the stomach, indicating a gunshot, which led to the guy's death. Bruises on his head and footprints in the mud, suggesting a struggle. Got it. Any suspects? Well, my bet is on Mary Thorne, the girl who phoned it in. That innocent looking girl is always the twist on a murder case. We confirmed her alibi though, she was with her husband last night. Her neighbors verified it as well, but somehow she did it, I think. That's um, baseless speculation. I think you should keep that to yourself. Uh, sure. Anything else we should know? We found a customer re re register inside. Sil was surprisingly old fashioned. He locked down all this in paper. Who does that really? Here, take a look. I doubt you will find anything useful. All the names here are written with initials. Hmm. This contains the list of different customers along with what, with what seems like the product code of the purchase. Quite a detective, aren't you? The list of there's five entries are just this past week. There's Dan B, Clark H, Matt C, May L, Maria H. These guys could be anybody, well no, because their first names and we know the initial of the last name. So no, not everyone, Detective Hunt. Not everyone. Told you. Well, we did most of the stuff for you, eh, Detectives? The forensic squad are wrapping up. You guys can have another look. Um, I want to speak with Miss Thorne. Sure thing, let me bring her over. Mr. Harvey is a unique character, isn't he? Oh well, let's interrogate her with this. It's important that you have unique characters in detective games because else it's boring. That's why CSI always uses not, not just a straight um, up sh drug shooting. But, but mostly, this guy went to the desert to meditate and he got killed by a turtle. Also he owns a church with his own religion, he has a sect. This, this was actually a real episode. They, they don't want to do normal murders. Mm -hmm. Wait what? Interrogate, we are just going to ask a few questions. And she's not really a witness. She might know something. A person's memory is unreliable. You got a force out of her. Be aggressive. I will slap it out of her. No way, you should be calm and collected. Gain the trust, lower the guard, then they will confide the truth to you. What kind of rusty strategy is that? Did you really attend the academy? Yeah, really, hunt. Okay, okay, I get it. Just let me handle this. If anything, I'm pretty good at judging a person's uh, state of mind. Are you? Are you really? Poor girl, she still looks stressed out. Arms crossed, eyes diverted. She definitely has her guard up. Hi, Officer Harvey said you wanted to speak with me. How are you holding up? Alright, yeah, this is uh, obviously the, the correct way of handling this. How are you holding up? I'm good, thanks. I'm Detective Hunt and with me here is Detective Lee. We would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Sh sure, I'm glad to be of help. I know you told Officer Harvey the details already, but we would like you to recount your statement to us again. Uh, okay. It was early morning around 7. It was still dark. Um, I was jogging my normal route up from Orchid Row 
and into South Brattleton when I passed through this alley here I noticed something odd. At first I thought it was just some lump or a bag on the floor but when I came close it was a man. That's when I called it in. Hmm. What do you think? Something feels off. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's all that happened. That's not all, is it? Oh, the truth! Okay, we, we can choose for a calm approach or an aggressive approach. Um. That's not all, is it? Um, what do you mean? You couldn't have seen the body when you were running down Gregory Street. But, but I did. I swear to it. The alley was too dark, the body was deep inside. I won't repeat myself. The alley was too dark. The alley runs east. At 7 the sun rises above that wall. Casting an even darker shadow to this outdecker. Uh, you know, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know which, which, in which country we are. So I don't know where the sun sets up and where it rises. And I also don't know the direction of this alley. But the fact that it was 7 in the morning. Hmm. If you were running by Gregory Street, I doubt you would venture this deep into a dark alley alone. Which means you were in this alley. So I want to know why. I went to throw my gum. I chew gum while joking and I, well, wanted to throw it in a garbage dump. But littering is illegal, illegal, you know. Do I look like an idiot? Well, do I. That dump over there? Uh, yes. We will investigate. Thoroughly. That means that if we catch you lying, you can be charged with obstruction of justice. This is a serious crime. I hope you understand the situation. I... I... I needed to pee. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's maybe a good thing that the CIS is not, uh, is, is not in the... <laughs> it's a good thing that we didn't record it. Maybe we did. Um, Alright. I was jogging along Gregory Street when I really had to go. So I came into this alley. To relieve yourself. Y yes. That's when I saw the body. So did you manage to pee? I, I didn't make it in time. Say what? Lee! Yeah, le <laughs> let's not ask about that. Uh. We understand, Miss Thorne. Appreciate your statement. Officer Har Harvey can escort you back now. T thank you. So what do you think? Harvey said her alibi checks out. So guess we should look around some more. Right. Right. Um, so, um, yeah, I think that's enough for the first episode. Um, next episode we are going to investigate the crime scene. They already saved it for me, so I think this is a good place to left off. It's nice so far. It's a little bit, um. I need to voice act a lot, I noticed, but uh, you know, I can always try voice acting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, um, this let's play, the first episode of the let's play of Detective Hunt, Crownstone City PD. Um, if you want to see more and you enjoyed it, please um, subscribe or like. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye everyone.